Welcome back, Roland, and welcome back to the audience of Fedrigoni. So, Roland from Color Concept, just a quick refresh. So, Roland is looking after all the media manufacturers for, for Color Concept. So, today we are going to discuss a little bit more about um, the importance of profiles for customers and the added value of having profiles, right? And then I really realized uh, uh, that you know, for printers uh, that are always working in a hurry to be able and save uh, inks, uh, money in terms of inks and in terms of material uh, and just have straight away the right profile is definitely an excellent service. It is, it is. Uh, that's basically also the core of our business and the added value that we want to bring to you and your products to your customers. Profiles really create peace of mind at your customers. Yeah. You know for a fact that if you sell a product to your customer, he's going to use your product, it will work. You won't have no issues, you will have no trial and error, no waste. And you can remember that the first part of the interview we're talking about sustainability. Yeah. The profiles are of course directly contributing to that part as well because they will know if they print, it will directly work on, let's say, the most optimal printing result. And let's be honest, uh, you as a company and you, you as a person, you are in, in touch with those, uh, with those customers. They have a preference that it needs to be as easy and as plug and play uh, as possible. So if you provide them with the extra added service or extra added value and then giving them the service of delivering the profile next to the product, well, you can imagine that if a customer has to choose between the Ritrama by Federigoni product with a profile or uh, another product without a profile, you fill in what he's going to choose. Yeah, because they just don't have time to test the product. They need to deliver today something that was requested or ordered yesterday. Um, they have been working for years with a certain type of media and, you know, from time to time, switching from one media to another means headaches because potentially the media might not be working on that printing machines and sometimes it's not because of the media but it's just because uh, they do not have the proper profile so helping them uh, in, in sorting this is, is, is quite important but it's even important for the producer of uh, printing machines because you know that we are trying to strengthen uh, our relationship with all the OEMs, building up the brand awareness of Ritrama in the graphic market, both with OEMs, with printers, and of course, uh, with distributors, which in the end are the ones that are reselling our products in the market. That's what for sure that we are seeing as well. I mean, uh, there's a lot of noise being made from Fedigoni in a good way. Uh, a lot of collaborations with indeed the printer OEMs. Um, and it's of course, uh, it's not a one-stop shop that you can uh, have one product that without any tweaking will work on all these different technologies. Because, well, as you know, there are several uh, and so many. So there are so many variables to make one product work on a certain machine with an ink technology, uh, with a RIP software, well, you know how many variables there are. So to make them work on all these different combinations, that requires time and effort, and a profile is just covering that. So you can be assured that when you distribute and sell your product to uh, a printer with a certain printer installed in his, in, his, in his printing lab, that it will work. So that will also give you peace of mind sitting at the printer uh, for the facilities or uh, going to your customers. Um, and it will also just add value to... Um Yeah, and in addition, profiles are also very important when you're launching new products in the market because, yeah, we do some internal print tests, of course. We have a couple of printing machines, but let's be realistic. We are manufacturers of self disease media, so we focus on the conformability of a product, we focus on the properties of an adhesive, we focus on the liner, and yeah, we also test the printability of the media, but from time to time, you just discover once the media is out there in the market, that potentially doesn't work with certain printing technologies. And we had the experience recently, no? Yeah, I can remember. And that's, that's of course, um, where we both are experts in our own field. You're expert in producing the materials and about having the, uh, the, the, the chemical formula and the recipe. And we are testing and experienced in making the printability the most optimal result. And you don't have... 50 machines, right? Correct, 50 yeah. machines, yeah. That's quite a lot. <laughs> so it's for us important to uh, share our expertise and our knowledge with our customers like you 
uh, knowing what kind of issues uh, we are facing. And that means that your customers can also face that issue. And when your product's indeed already out there in the market and you're receiving, uh, let's say, claims and troubles, and that's not what we want. We are here to prevent that to your customers. No, no, it, it, it's too late. Once the product is out there in the market, it's definitely too late to do anything you want because you really need to try and uh, make sure these type of things are not happening. I can remember that your colleagues uh, and, and, and you as well that we are uh, we're discussing this, this issue with and, and then running the test, they were actually happy with the result of finding out where the core of the issue came from. And you do that uh, uh, in, a, in an early stage, so you're preventing the issue to be, uh, let's say, uh, facing the customer. We already did this in, the, let's say, the R&D phase, and then so we found out, and you can come back to your uh, colleagues, like, okay, there needs to be uh, an adjustment in the product to make it work on all those different printers. So we're basically, there's been a small issue, we discovered it, and now we fix it to make sure that the customers have noticed nothing from this. So that's basically trying to, uh, to help you upfront instead of uh, yeah. fixing the issue yeah. afterwards. So thank you, Roland, and thank you to uh, Federico and the audience.